Hello everybody, Angel on Fire here. Today I am going to be doing the second tutorial of my four or five part series on how to record gameplay or tutorials on the computer. Thank you, Battlefield. Um, so basically this one is on editing. Uh, how to go about it, uh, and basically everything like that. So my favorite program for editing, uh, well, it was my favorite program for a while and just yesterday I learned how to use Premiere Pro. but Basically, I used Power Tracker for quite a while. Uh, this being because I uh, basically just drag a clips onto here. It will do your stuff. Uh, you can put other stuff. You can put clips after. Blah blah blah. Um, and you can export it as a movie. Um, now, at the moment, I am having issues with Power Tracker just because I think it has something to do with my graphics card. Basically, needs to render everything, and it just takes too long to do anything. Um, but at the moment, uh, or b before, when I didn't have an issue with my graphics card, I used it for um, all of my or editing of videos. It was nice and easy. I could put a video, it would take me about two hours to edit, but it would be all good just because what I like to do uh, is get like an hour of gameplay and then compress it down to five minutes of the best parts. Um, but again, I'll go over all that in the fourth episode. So, uh, this is the one I've been using for quite a while. Uh, I like, as I, yeah, as I was saying, uh, you put your stuff together, just hit produce, and then from here you can either save it to your computer, then upload it to YouTube, or you can go directly to here and say, I want to upload to YouTube, and it'll be like, okay. Um, other than that, uh, pretty easy. I might make a tutorial on how to use it in case anybody's wondering, just because I know for myself I've used it for like two years so far, so I'm... I like to think that it's easy enough for me to use, but it might not be the case for everybody. Um, so that's the first program. Basically you just bring all your clips into here, uh, you drag them down onto the timeline, you just trim them to whatever part is the best, or whatever part you want, and then uh, you go. Or say you were to like record something and you want to use the whole thing, literally just put it in here, uh, don't even need to edit anything, just go produce. Because what it does is not only will it uh, make it into a movie, but it'll take the 200 gigabytes worth of files uh, that you, or 100 gigabytes, depending on how long you're recording, uh, worth of video files and compress that all down into, say, 500 megabytes. And then you can even use, I like to use Handbrake afterwards uh, to compress it into like 200 megabytes. Uh, just because I know Handbrake does a better job. Not sure if it will help with my YouTube upload time or if it, the compression is just too strong or whatever. But I like to use it. It seems to work fine uh, for what I need. Now, uh, I was going to show you guys Camtasia, but it's currently derping out uh, just because I literally just recorded the last tutorial and it's not working at the moment. So I will see how that works. Should just be able to grab the video files. But basically, Camtasia is really the same. As you can see, you have the timelines. Well, for a fraction of a second, you can see you have the timelines just like this one. Uh, you can also just upload it directly to the web or to the computer, whatever you prefer. The great thing about Camtasia, though, is you can actually do everything in one. You can take your video, uh, you can edit it, or you can record your you can record your video from whatever you're doing, whatever tutorial, whatever, um, and then you can edit it just right inside the program and upload it. You don't have to go to any external programs or anything, and you'll be good to go. Now, the third one I'm going to go for uh, is Premiere Pro. Now, basically, yeah, After Effects I think it's like 120 bucks or something. Uh, Premiere Pro. If you actually went for Premiere Pro, it's probably like, I'd say at least four or five hundred. I, I don't know though. Uh, kinda didn't buy it myself. Um, but basically, uh, I like to use it, well I just started using it yesterday. But uh, it seems like an amazing program. I kinda used After Effects a bit, so a bit of the same layout. But basically the reason I like using it is, um, Compared to Power Director, where you basically would have to go to a clip, you'd hit, have to hit trim, and you'd have to wait for it to load. You'd have to go to whatever you wanted, you drag it in, you'd go like this, and then you'd cut it so that it was that size and that portion you want. With Premiere Pro, if I this is like my source part, so this is like before I put it in my timeline. But say I were to, oh, I still fraps running. I'll just exit that because you can see all of the loaders and counters or whatever. But if I wanted to look at this, I just drag it over OPR. Uh, I find whatever place I like. Uh, so just playing some good old prop hunt. Uh, but basically what I would do is I just hit in, 
uh, I go to another part in the movie where I wanted to finish it off, I hit O for out, uh, I for in, O for out. Uh, but then you'd have this right here. And then what you can actually just do is drag, you just click on the actual picture up there, drag it to wherever you want, and it will only give you that clipped part. It won't give you anything else, it won't give you the whole thing. Uh, also, you can just take the video, uh, just by going like that, or you can just take the audio. Now, this isn't meant to be a massive tutorial on how to use uh, Premiere Pro, it's just basically meant to show you the options you would have uh, to video editing. Now, uh, one main thing I haven't talked about right now, or up to now, is, um, what do they call it now, Windows Live Movie Maker. The reason being, I don't like to use it very much myself. Now, that said, uh, it is great for people who want a free program. It will work fine for you. Uh, it might be a bit slow, but if you if that's your only option, it doesn't really matter. It will still do the same thing, just take a bit longer. So if you can afford that, and if you really want to make videos, definitely persist. Um, just keep keep at it, uh, even if you're just using the really basic programs. Um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I haven't really used any other video editing programs myself, like Sony Vegas or whatever they call it. Uh, I think it's Sony Vegas, but whatever. Uh, I have just been using PowerDirector. I've used Windows Live Movie Maker in the past, but I just don't like it very much myself. Not too many options you can go through, and I have had quality problems before with it. But that said, uh, if you're looking for a free program, go for it. Uh, if you know your way around the internet, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Premiere Pro is the way to go. Yay. Um, or if you just have an absurd amount of money and you want a good hobby, do that. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and just be sure to come back for the next one um, where I'll be showing you guys how to upload everything to YouTube. Thanks for watching.